we're back in the world of Satisfactory. All right, I'm back in my base because in between episodes, I decided to play with jump pads a little bit. And so far, it has not been the most successful. But I've decided that's one of the things that I can do off camera in between episodes because watching me fiddle around with those is probably not going to be super exciting. And I do eventually want to get them figured out like perfectly and have them all over the place. But right now, I'm just making things worse. So I'm probably going to stop playing with them for a little bit. Look, I missed. Take all. This one almost works. Some of the time, if I don't press anything... Okay, I did have to press something. This one does work. It does damage to me. I could change the angle so that I get up here quicker for one. And then so that I don't take as much damage. This one gets me killed a lot of the time. One way to fix this would be to have like backer walls. Oh, come on. I almost hit it. Okay. We're done playing with those. I'm going to play with them off camera. I'll show you guys the progress I make. Once I get back. I'm getting better at finding my way back from the hub. Down to... <laughs> my base because I died a few times but I need a better route because this route sucks so I did redo this one I'm not super happy with it I wish I could adjust it without having to rebuild it it works. It gets me up here. It just gets me up here way slower. I liked it more when it threw me into this back wall. Some of the time. It would throw me into the back wall. But it was not getting hit by this one. And I thought that one was important. It still kind of is. Alright, that's not what we're working on today. We are working on... For one, I could do the awesome shop. But I want to get frames automated. I could just make 50 frames by hand, but I'm going to need more anyways. So let's go do the frames. The frames go over here. What is this passage to the right? Oh, that's where my power was. Never mind. It just looked different. We have so much room for activities. I think I'm going to eat this. That is mine now. And then we're going to go to production. We're going to do an assembler. And this assembler will be along this wall. Does that make sense? Not really. Do I want to do it there? Not really. What else does it need? Rods? It needs something. Like 12 rods a minute, I think. Um, like that? Oh, come on. That's what I get for trying to line things up in ways that don't really make sense. Like, if I don't use control, it feels like that's got to be close. Close enough? It is close enough. It's better just not to use control. All right. And these are going to want to go into a box. We're going to make this. Two per minute. Three reinforced iron plate. Oh, except some of these still need to go to this. Right. That's a problem. Is that a problem? That could be a problem. Why do I have this box facing this way? Because that is what I have chosen to do. Cool. Is this lined up correctly? I think it is. Do I think... I think I can make that. Oh, come on. Fine. This is a splitter. Splitters... 
want to be right there. Good stuff. This one can go into here. Next up. Copy that. This game. This game looks like it wants this. Not at all. But kind of close. But not at all. Okay, what if I did it from back here? That makes sense. So now, that looks right. Easy game. Click this. We want modular frames, which want 12 iron rods per minute, which want me to up my iron rod per minute production, except that I have a bunch of iron rods up here. Do I have excess? Excess? iron rods right now if I did they would be in here no I do not I could be feeding a bunch of these iron rods over into here do I have another input I don't but I could get one I do there's an input right here that's not bad Organization. No. Logistics. Conveyor Mark 1. Wait, this is supposed to be input. Oh, this is a splitter. We want a merger. Oh, sweet! We have one. I need this to go 12, almost 14 high. That high. connects right there. Now, I need to get up there. To get up there, we hit escape. I did not make that jump. Okay, just go under. No! I hit the wrong direction for a second there. Okay, we're fine. It was just a little bit of a slow, dramatic entrance. Why are these rods backed up? Because input, input, is this not the output? That is the output. That's totally the output. Why? Explain yourself. Merger. This game. Because I didn't reconnect up the lines, because I assumed that they were perfect, because I built on foundations, that's totally what happened. So we're merging all of these together just so that I can split again. Does that make sense? It does to me.
Now I should have a bunch more iron rods. These are going to get sent over here. And really, I need some of these to go all the way to that thing. To do that, I do see this roller coaster of iron rods right here. I could branch off of that. What is this mess? I just see iron rod splitter. Iron rod splitter with small amounts of iron rods coming out. I might need to speed up this belt, but that doesn't make too much sense to me. I could split off of here. I don't need that many iron rods. It does look like this is getting backed up now, but that's because this will be a full belt. It really will. I think I should speed up this belt. Plus, that's not even that expensive to do. And then I kind of do think I should just pull out of here. Because what's the difference, really? think that this should be higher up. To get it higher up, I'm going to put it onto the roof of this one. Clipping a little bit. Then, we'll put it onto this roof. Onto this roof. Into here. Now we just need power. And did I set the recipe? I bet I did. I did. So for power, this one will work. And then I want to store these. To store these, we hit eight. Okay, things are a mess. What is new? Bam. Okay, I'm starting to think that I should go deliver these up to there. But, who knows, maybe they do more things. This one goes so slow, so I still might go manually craft these. Because I can manually craft them a lot quicker. This looks hooked up correctly. This is still going. I have a bunch of rotors. Oh, I didn't actually take them out of the box. Yeah, I think I'm going to manually craft the frames. I can always pause the video. But I will grab the rotors first. And then I need to grab cement. Do I already have that? Tab. We were running low on cement. This storage container does not need to be all the way over here. It's fine, but it could easily be like right over here. I definitely don't want it up there. And I kind of do want to expand that production, but I don't know why I want to expand it. Because I can just stack the cement container on top of another cement con container 
and have unlimited cement. Especially now that I know how easy it is. I wonder if they just line up perfectly. I bet they do. This will make it harder to get my stuff out. But it also makes me happy. And I can get up there. So, let's just see for a second. Does this work the way that I think it would work? I'm getting distracted. It totally works. Okay, there is a floor there. That floor is stupid. We're not worrying about that floor. We're worrying about expanding the concrete production that I don't actually need for anything. Or no, concrete storage that I don't need for anything. Am I connected up all the way to the top? I'm not. It's so good. I don't know if it's actually connected. The way to check that would be seeing if stuff ends up making it to the top. But even just seeing that this one starts to empty out, it is emptying out, would help. Now, if I moved things at 60 per second, if I started filling that up at 60 per second, then that bottom one should always be full and I still have access to concrete easily. So to do that, do not fall. All we need to do is expand this production fourfold. Fourfold. Oh, and it wants a ton of limestone per minute. Oh. I could still expand it quite a bit. All right, so it's middle mouse button. My power will start to become a problem at some point. When is that point? Not yet. I don't think it's yet. Give me a miner. I have so much space. We want a splitter. The splitter... wants to go right here. Perfect. This one needs to be a Mark II. I need power. Power is up here somewhere. If I was power, I would be right there. Two out of four. So I am going to want another power pull. Four out of four. Oh, right, because I had connected up the miner, too. That one's already connected. Cool. You produce concrete. 15 per minute. So a single line can handle all of this concrete. 
So really, I want to merge them all up right here. Is that going to hurt me for getting across the gap? I don't think so. Wait, I should let that concrete flow. That way it eh, it's going to end up in... I already have some in my inventory anyways. Easy game. So now I should be producing almost 45 concrete per minute. Almost 45. I could up the production. 120. No, because my belts can't take more than 120 off. These are just backed up for a minute, but eventually the production will be less than this belt can carry. Cool. This box you can have not the concrete, not the biofuel. You can have that. You can have the limestone. I could have fed the limestone to the things. All right. Next thing I wanted to do was make frames. Frames. We need 50 of them. Wait, isn't this where I make frames? It is. I can only make 16. Why? Because I'm short iron rods, which I should be storing like crazy. Where? Somewhere. Not here. Right here. I should be storing rods in this one. Perfectly organized. So now... I can make 116 of these. How long do they take? They take a while, but at least we make two each time. So I'm going to pause and I'll come back as soon as I have 50 of these. The final frame. All right. 50 plus one. Good stuff. Next up, I needed the rotors to get to the... What was that jump? That was like a super jump. Don't hit the pad. These. I need 100. So now I have 152. Let's take another 100. Perfect. My health is full. What are you doing? Oh, I didn't connect it back up. Takes a second. And go. Isn't there another jump pad around here? Yes. No. No. I'm still figuring out the jump pads. Okay, but it's so good when it works. So, so good. I like it. I didn't pick up the copper wire. I did not. All right, you can have these, you can have these, you can have these and these, and you can have this. Copper wire. I have some copper wire. It's not enough. All right, 500 copper wire. We can do that. Luckily, I have bounce pads. Okay, that's going to hurt. Hey, it's an angry thing. Nope. Okay. I did not do a good job getting back down here. I had just said that I know how to get back down now, too. It was a lie. That. Give me this, this, and this. I wonder if I should switch these back to wire. Nah. I think we're good. Hey, jump pad. Right here. 
perfect. Jump pad. Almost perfect. And I didn't take fall damage. Actually perfect? Actually perfect. Bam. You can have this. Press the big red button. It feels like it's been forever. I don't even Lost remember. Damage. Steel production unlocked. Foundry grants access to new simple steel parts. An additional project part can now be constructed. Progress to the next phase is now possible. Smelts two resources into alloy ingots can be automated by feeding ore into it with a conveyor belt connected to the inputs. Yeah, we know that. Automatically extracted. Okay, there are alloys. Is chromium is chromium in the game? Because that's how we would make steel. Steel iron steel ingots are made from iron ore that is smelted with coal. I guess that's like giving extra carbon to it. Yeah, that works. Steel beams. So we need to feed, oh, that's why the coal, even though I feel like I have excessive amounts of coal for power, some of it goes into making alloys. Steel beams are used most often when constructing a little more advanced buildings. Steel pipe. Steel pipes are most often, are used most often when constructing a little more advanced buildings. Versatile Framework, Project Part Number 2, Ship with the Space Elevator to Complete Phases of Project Assembly. Understood. New Shop Products. We need to build that shop. That's what I should do now. Tractor. Built-in crafting bench, 25 slot inventory can be automated to pick up and deliver don't know enough about how I feel about that yet. I do want this hand slot. What does this one cost? Oh, this costs like nothing. Okay, I might do that then. This one also costs like nothing. Cool. Once you have things automated, I mean the frames take a while. But those are going. So by the time this comes back and I finish this, I should have the frames I need to do this one as well. Tier 4, Advanced Steel. Ooh, wait a second. This doesn't look that bad. Stators, parts of a motor. A motor creates mechanical force that is used to move things from machines to vehicles. Automated wiring. Okay, so that's for the next phase. More robust multi-purpose frame. Miner Mark II. The normal extraction rate is 120 per minute. What was the normal one for the first one? Oh, we just started with miners right off the bat. Looks like we, or tier zero. Portable miner. Minor. Okay, 60. Cool. So that doubles it if it's a pure node. Understood. And then this doubles it. Well, doubles the Mark 1. Okay. And what do you want? You don't want anything that crazy. A little bit of steel. This one wants a little bit of steel. This doesn't seem that bad, and this gives important things. Used to span power lines across great distances. Span power lines ac across great distances. This one also has a place to stand. An additional power connector is provided at the bottom of the power tower for connecting with other buildings. Power storage does seem good. 100 megawatts for one hour. 
discharge rate. Okay, so storage, it takes an hour to fill up with 100 megawatts. Can be connected to a power grid to store excess power production. Right now, that doesn't seem super important, but it would be good if I could get that and then like also set up alarms to let me know like, hey, things are going bad for some reason. Hypertube, don't care. I should care, maybe I'll care. For some things, it could be nice to do that. This, I guess it's good, but hmm. It doesn't seem that much better than just adding the conveyor lifts. 48 slots. Two inputs and outputs. Maybe it's better for some reason that I can't think of. I mean, it's a little bit more space efficient. Conveyor belt mark three. 270 seems like a weird number. 270. This isn't, none of that seems that expensive. I haven't made steel yet. This seems super, super, super important. Steel. Okay. And I still have to make these pieces. We have two minutes until it returns. What did I want? Active milestone. Oh, can I set the goal? I think Falter Fire said I could, even if... Wait, can't I, like, add the goal over here? Select milestone. <laughs> Maybe I can't. Hmm. Okay, all I need to do is go get some copper wire. So I'm just going to go do that. And then this thing will be back by the time I get back. It's perfect. It is perfect. I am using the copper wire a bit, and I'm not using that sheet. I think I'm going to switch this. Cool. Perfect. I should have looked at what I needed for the vehicle one, but we'll have time anyways. This pad. What the hell was that jump? The pads... The pads still need a little bit of work. Not like by the game, but me learning to use them. 23 seconds, we can wait that out. I have concrete in here. I should just deliver a bunch of wire, a bunch of concrete, a bunch of the things that this wants. But I don't know what it wants. We can now look at steel beams. Oh, it's gonna require steel ingots, which require three iron, three coal. Right, I'm gonna have to get iron ore and coal together. Got it. That does make sense. 100 of these. Got it. Launch again. Next goal. Oh, that one only takes three minutes. dimension added an additional hand equipment slot and have provided an improved Xeno Zapper with increased strength and range. I do want that improved Xeno Zapper. I will build that. Select milestone. Active milestone. I need frames. I need cable. And that's it. And I could use more rotors, kind of, but we're good. Cables and frames. 25 frames. Not that many cables. Let's go get them. Worst case, I have to build some of the frames, but I think they should be done. That only took 12 minutes to make that many frames. See, there's no n need to move the hub closer. How's my power grid? I kind of want more cable. Cool. Max consumption is getting up there. It is higher than the 
dips the production and the capacity. Huh. This consumption is getting close to this 375. And it's going to take me some power to get my coal up. It's a little bit concerning. Let's go get these frames. I think after this, it's going to be going to expand my coal. I got a bunch of frames. We're set. I do need more of these plates. I just fed a bunch of them away. Luckily, we have a ton. Rotors. I did say that I wanted more rotors, but I have a whole nother machine making those. Perfect. Go look at the concrete before I go back. Just make sure it's working. So it is draining out, which is what I would expect. It's kind of draining quicker than I would expect. This one's the drain, this one's the fill. Very interesting. I want to go look at the top one. To look at the top one, I have to go use this. Jump! And I don't even know if I can reach the top one. I can almost reach it. This one has some coming through. That's a pretty good sign. Okay, we can make it up to this one, which means I should be able to, like, just peek at the other. Not really. Hmm. My view is being blocked, but I don't understand why. I swear I hit E. Ooh, there's ladders. We've made it up to the top. At the top, look at this. We have concrete coming in. It's going to take forever to fill this whole thing. That was kind of a stupid amount of storage to set up. But that's fine. It was a proof of concept. I was checking that I could actually do it. I'm at full health. What if this look works? It works. I did have to like press buttons though to get it to work. It does not just work if you let it launch you. Darn it. Do I have all of the materials I need? Rotors, yes. No! Okay. Perfect. Perfect. It's so good. Best mode of transportation ever. You want this? You want these? I don't have that many rods left now. Wait, that's not right. Cable? No, what do you want? Oh, rotors. Rotors and frames. Press the button. We're getting to press the button so many times. Milestone reached. Long range transportation, as well as the construction of outposts, is now encouraged. Vehicle stations have built in functionality to refuel and restock or collect parts. Tier 3 is complete. So, the next thing that I really want, this advanced steel production, is probably important. And it's not that expensive. Steel pipe. This one is probably important. Not important. Yes, important. Yeah, because these can handle the 240 that I would need if I put an advanced miner on things. Is there going to be a Mark IV? 
probably. When did we get Mark II? Mark II was. No, that's Mark I. Logistics Mark II. Was this tier two? So this tier, it's probably tier six that has Mark IV, but it could be all the way like out here somewhere. Hmm. Guess it doesn't matter. We need these two steel things, which makes perfect sense. This one costs four steel. This one costs three steel. Both of those seem pretty doable. They can be made in the assembler, I'm guessing. Ah, so now... I want to look at the map. Hit V. Iron ore. Hit V. Coal. Look at the map. Hemp, normal. Claimed. Claimed is cool to know. So I could move one of these pure or irons, or there's this pure iron. That pure iron is right next to the coal. I think this is the area that I would set up my steel. Will I need more steel than that? Probably, but that's where all of the coal is. So regardless, I'm gonna have to develop that area eventually. Why am I going this way? Because I can. I should get this out, look for power slugs. No. Don't get distracted. Plus, I already got the power slugs around here. Out of range. Wait, I should look for mushrooms. Out of range. I should go to the space elevator. Okay, so the next thing I want to do. Ooh, we have rotors built up. It's a good sign. Pod returns in two seconds. I didn't set a next goal. I should have done that. It's not like it matters that much. I kind of want to make the awesome places special. The awesome shop. You want screws. I'm storing screws somewhere. Right here. What is the other thing I want to make? Awesome sink, which I have the resources for. This is their temporary location. So that makes sense to put them here temporarily. This doesn't condense down at all, so I don't need to have the smelters here. Yeah, this makes sense. They might even stay here permanently, but we'll see. Awesome shop. Where is the front? If I was this shop, my front would be... Right here? Sure. Awesome sink is much larger. Holy largeness. And it has an input. Foundations might be good for this. But let's assume that they're unnecessary. Oh, they're totally unnecessary. I forgot that it puts down the little things. No power. How much power do you want? 
because I'm kind of afraid 30 megawatts. That's a significant amount of power. That could trip my grid off. Awesome shop. Organization. Label, sign, bundle. Ooh. So these cost tickets. Billboard set. Lighting. There's lighting. Okay, I'm kind of glad I didn't look at this. Storage. Hazard box. Personal storage skin. I don't care about the skin so much. Unavailable. Why is this unavailable? Quick wire ma'am. Advanced steel production. Okay. Basic steel production. That's fine. Management. Conveyor lift floor hole. I am using conveyor lifts. Conveyor ceiling mount. Conveyor ceiling mount. I don't know exactly what that means. Conveyor wall mount. Oh, that's just for regular conveyor belts. I was thinking the lift things. These do make sense. Okay, so then you wouldn't need to put the floor pole. These would actually be helpful, and they're cheap. Pipe things through walls. Clean pipeline. No indicator. I don't know. The wall outlets would be cool. Double wall outlet and wall outlet. That costs three. Mark two, mark three. That scares me a little bit. Are there different, like, power levels? Because I haven't noticed that these power poles have different, like, power... Hmm. These could mean something. Like, there's no wattage, or there's no voltage. Corner ramps. That was one of the things that I wanted. Inverted ramps. Upside down. Double ramp set. What? Why would I want a double ramp set? Corner ramps I do want. Inverted corner ramp pack. So these give you a bunch of things, too. Perfect. Quarter pipes. That could look cool. So I do want those. Quarter pipe extension pack. Half foundation sets. Walls. These would be good. Holes in the walls. Door wall. Then I could keep creatures out. Tilted walls. Then we could build a bunker. Gates. Automatic gates and gate hole wall. This seems better than doors a little bit. We can get windows. Okay, I need silica first. But eventually we can get windows. Good to know. Architecture. Frame pillar set. Structural frame set. We can have an industrial look. Railings. Industrial railings. Metal pillar set. Sounds kind of cool. Oh, I want like all of this stuff. Okay, we're definitely going to get everything. Falter fire mentioned getting glass foundations. Glass roof material, tar roof material, metal roof material, factory icon, icon patterns. So these are just like for cosmetic or are these for blueprints? Schematic. I don't know. Steel wall material, concrete wall material. Um, the cart. Factory cart. Boombox. We could have music. We could have a go goat music boombox tape for zero? For zero? Why is that one free? Okay. Coffee cup. Standard issue cup for melee range. Parts. Color cartridge. I already have this. Times 50. Biomass. Times 200. Oh, they just let you buy crap? Seems very inefficient. 
I could get frames though for four tickets. I could get my steel pipe. So in theory, you don't even have to progress to steel pipe. You could just get tickets and change it for steel or for rotors. Huh. Kind of interesting, I guess. Buy all. Bam. We bought our first thing ever for zero. Purchases. What? Why doesn't it show up? Okay. So, the awesome sink has no power. I need power. Next time, we are going to expand the coal to 12, and then we'll go over and start working on steel. So right now, I have six of those coal things. Yeah, we're going all the way to 12. We're doubling our current power. And I'm figuring out why it keeps dipping from 450 down to 375. We're going to troubleshoot that a little bit. So to do that, what things do I need? I'm going to need, I already have lots of copper sheets. I need these, I need the frames, I need rotors. We could use more rotors. What else? I need regular metal plates. I don't need this. Okay, I have the regular plates. Smelter. Can any of you take this metal that's in my inventory? Yes. Cool. Other than that, we have a little bit of copper. Storage container. I will take another hundred of those, put this back. So we'll, I have 600. Here, sort these. 600 feels like a lot. 200 of these feels like, oh, I already have a lot of rotors. Okay. Screws. I don't think I need screws. I'm going to take more of this copper. I don't think I need more than a hundred rotors, but maybe I'm wrong. What was it that I said I needed? Oh yeah, these sheets. Here, you can have these ones back. Sort? That's an excessive amount. A thousand sheets. Perfect. Anything else? Oh, you can have copper. You're already full. You are not full. How do I set my to-do list? To-do list, to-do list. There was a way. Did I have to do it at the hub? No. Why would they do that? Was it here for some reason? I could also look at this. What do you want? You want stuff. Hmm. Cost candy canes. Cost whatever those are. Cost bows. Can I make those things? Looks like no. Weird. Sulfur. What do you want? Ooh. 50 sulfur, 25 to make black powder. I don't know if I care about black powder. This sounds potentially useful. What is this thing? Hard drive. I need to get a hard drive. There was a hard drive and all it wanted was frames. Where was it? I don't know. Oh, okay. I thought of the last thing that I want. I want this. To get this, I need two Xeno Zappers. To get that, I need to take this one off. 
E to interact. I now have a Xeno Basher, which sounds way better. Equip it. I don't know if it's actually way better, but it covers up more of the screen, which is kind of a thing. Do I want to go fight something with it? I kind of do. We could end the episode by taking on... Where are the ones near me? They are, like, right there. Let's go fight them. And then, I think I'm done recording for tonight. So the next time I record, it might be 2024. God, I'm so far ahead on recording with this game. But I keep wanting to play more. So we can inspect this crash site if I take out you. Okay, I'm not doing a great job. Oh, but it took him out quick. There was another one. They also get stunned when I hit them. Okay. E to pick up leaves. I don't care about leaves. The thing I care about is finding a hard drive. I swear I saw one somewhere, but it might not have been at this wreck. Oh! Yes. Easy game. Hard drive. Maybe that's what Dead I was thinking of. Hard drive has been salvaged and can be repurposed to unlock an alternate recipe. Salvaging more hard drives will provide additional alternate recipes. Okay. We did it. We got one easy hard drive. I s thought I saw one on the ground somewhere. But it might not have been at this rack site. Now that I can fight those things, there's fire. I should be able to explore them more easily. I don't know if I can fight the bigger aliens, but we could try. Do I think that there's going to be a power slug here? Nope. Okay. New sword. And I wanted that. Or I wanted the hard drive to get something. It was in the sulfur tab. I wanted sulfur and coal as well. Sulfur and coal should be in this box. Sulfur? I had coal. Oh, I want compacted coal. That's the thing that I want. I think maybe I put it in that other box. Let's go look for it. Not nice. And you don't even drop anything. Okay. I just had to make sure. What if it did drop something? Bam! That was the cold that I needed. Let's go do this. My perfectly organized base. This one. You want this. Start the research. The analysis of compacted coal is completed. What is this? Packaged fuel. Alternative transport. Okay, sounds like that's used for vehicles and jet pack would be amazing. But it doesn't sound like that's used in place of coal for power generation. At least not yet. What did I just do? 
How is my memory this bad? Oh, compacted coal. Uh, if I was going to guess, that would be a recipe in here. It is. Wait, is it? Mainly used as fuel for vehicles and coal generators and for steel production. This only costs one wood. This costs five biomass. Huh. Oh, these just cost presents. Right, I could start making these, which could get me something, I forget what. But that's not a priority. The steel and the coal production are priorities. I just want to look. If we look at this, it can produce 45 coal per minute and it uses 37.5 biomass, which is not leaves. So this uses a little bit less than four wood to make 45 coal. Well, no. <laughs> this is a pain to think about. Oh, wow, you can use the alien stuff, the protein. And there are more recipes in the codex. Okay, don't care. Select recipe. The other one, this one, charcoal, makes 150 per minute and it consumes 15 wood. 15 wood. I can't think about the numbers, but this one seems more efficient, probably. Good to know. 150 per minute from just wood. Sadly, I would have to manually get wood, but that is doable. Huh. Something to think about in the future. For now, that does it for this episode. Thanks for watching.